St. Petersburg Pier is open to the public again. New Mayor Rick Kreisman made good on his promise to take down the fence that kept visitors away from that landmark. But now we may not see a new pier there until 2017. Our Carson Chambers joins us live with more on that story. Carson? Well, hey, Brendan, the fences were down here at the end of the pier and blocked off the whole thing. They are down tonight, taken down over the weekend. It was the mayor's first order of business when he took office. But we are learning that the long-term plan for a new pier could be even longer. Uh, well, the pier's still standing, so uh, I think they, uh, they should have never, the fences should have never been there. And uh, this is good. I, I, I'm liking this a lot better. You can ride, walk, or fish off the St. Pete Pier again. Well, I was hoping why, why did they put it up in the first beginning when they left us out of fishing, you know what I'm saying? Fences came down Sunday, giving the public access to the troubled structure, but folks like Al Davis know it's still a long timeline before the pier makes a comeback. It's real sad. Mayor Rick Kreisman, who took office Thursday, named the iconic landmark a priority during the election. And, and during the campaign, I talked about a, a timeline that, that got it done in, by the end of 2015. Ideally, that would I'd love to see that happen. Uh, I, I was often asked, isn't that rather ambitious? And my answer is yes, it is. But a transition team tasked with recommendations on the pier's future laid out a much longer timeline, putting forth the 2017 framework for either a revitalization or redesign. That's two years longer than the $50 million futuristic lens plan voters nixed in August. I don't want to see that happen. I want this thing done as quickly as we can. So this is going to be a focus of, of my administration. We are, you know, I want to read the transition team's reports um, and then take that next step to get back out to the community one, uh, one additional time. Mayor Kreisman, who's in favor of building a brand new pier, says the next step will be reading the transition team's plans and meeting with them. Back out live here at the St. Pete Pier. See these boat slips just behind us? They actually wanted to fence those in, and that is why the initial fence went into place up here. But again, those fences are down tonight. You can walk, bike, do whatever you like here along the pier. Live in St. Pete, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News. Thank you.